The Northrop YF-23 or Northrop MC Donald Douglas YF-23 is an American single-seat, twin-engine fighter aircraft designed for the United States Air Force USAF. The design was a finalist in the USAF's Advanced Tactical Fighter ATF, competition, beating out the Lockheed YF-22 for the production contract. Two YF-23 prototypes were built with the nicknames Black Widow 2 and Grey Ghost. In the 1980s the USAF began looking for a replacement for the fighter, primarily to counter the Soviet Union's advanced Su-27 and MiG-29 aircraft. Several companies submitted design proposals, the USAF selected proposals from Northrop and Lockheed. Northrop worked with McDonnell Douglas to develop the YF-23, while Lockheed, Boeing and General Dynamics developed the YF-22. The YF-23 had the advantage of being stealthier and faster, but less agile than the competition. After a four-year development and evaluation process, the YF-22 was declared the winner in 1991 and entered production as the Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor. The U.S. Navy was interested in using the production version of the ATF as the basis for a replacement to the F-14, but these plans were later abandoned. As of 2009, two YF-23 prototypes are on museum display. The Northrop YF-23A, unofficially designated the Black Widow II, emphasizes stealth characteristics. Reducing weight and improving stealth, Northrop decided not to use thrust vectoring for aerodynamic control as used on the Lockheed YF-22A. Northrop built two YF-23A prototypes. In 1991, after extensive flight testing, the USAF announced that the Lockheed YF-22A had won the airframe competition. Northrop ended its ATF program, and the YF-23A on display was displayed at the museum in 2000. The YF-23 is stealthier and faster, but less agile than its competitors. After a four-year development and evaluation process, the YF-22 was declared the winner in 1991 and was developed into the Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor, which first flew in 1997 and entered service in 2005. The U.S. Navy is considering using a production version. ATF is the basis for a replacement for the F-14, but this plan was later abandoned. Both YF-23 prototypes are currently on display at the museum. The YF-23 was designed to meet USAF requirements for survivability, super crawlability, stealth and ease of maintenance. Super cruise requirements call for prolonged supersonic flight without the use of afterburners. Northrop leveraged its experience with the B-2 Spirit and F-A-18 Hornet to reduce the model's vulnerability to radar and infrared detection. The USAF initially required aircraft to land and stop within 2,000 feet, 610 meters, which meant the use of thrust reversers on their engines. In 1987, the USAF changed the runway length requirement to 3,000 feet, 910 meters, so thrust reversers were no longer necessary. This allows the aircraft to have a smaller engine nacelle housing. The nacelles were not scaled down on the prototype. Officially the YF-23A was designated as Prototype Air Vehicle 1, PAV-1, which was launched on June 22, 1990. The PAV-1 made its 50-minute maiden flight on August 27 with Alfred Paul Metz at the controls. The second YF-23, PAV-2, made its first flight on 26 October, piloted by Jim Sandberg. The first YF-23 was painted charcoal gray and nicknamed the Black Widow 2. The second prototype was painted in two shades of grey and was nicknamed Grey Ghost. A proposed naval variant of the YF-23 known as the NAT-23 was considered a replacement for the F-14 Tomcat. The original YF-23 design was first considered but would have had issues with flight deck space, handling, stowage, landing, and catapult launch reasons that required a different design. The NAF-23 Wind Tunnel Test Model DP-527, tested for 14,000 hours, was donated by Boeing in 2001 to the Bellefontaine Neighbors Klein Park Veterans Memorial.